want to say. Like when it comes to video games, we we can't put all our faith in rules, and we certainly, but we can't go the other way either and think that we can just throw up our hands and give up the fight because um, that doesn't help our children. It doesn't show love to them. We're not actually understanding, making an effort to understand our children and understand the things that they're into. Uh, what we need is not a middle-of-the-road approach, but rather to approach discipline and guidance from a posture of grace. We need to reframe how we perceive the goal of parenting. Too many of us are focused on what we want our children to be that we neglect our children's greatest need. You know what your children's greatest need is, right? It's connection. Your children need to be met and loved right where they are, just as God in Christ met you in your brokenness and called you his child. The goal of parenting is not different from the goal God has given all of us. To love him, this is the greatest commandment, right? To love him above all and to love our neighbors as ourself. The goal of the goal of parenting is to build a lifelong relationship of trust with our children rooted in the gospel of Christ. Let me say that again. The goal of parenting is to build a lifelong relationship of trust with our children rooted in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lifelong. That's an important word in that definition. Lifelong relationship of trust. It's a long game. Parenting is a long game, and it doesn't end when your kids leave the house. Like it's, It goes on. You're going to be a parent uh Lord willing for the rest of your life, right? You're going to be a parent. And so um, here's what I want to challenge you to give up. Give up this idea that you have to win the battle against video gaming now. It is not that urgent. Um, Your success as a parent in your child's health and well-being do not ride on you winning the video game battle now. It just doesn't. Um, It simply does not. Um, It's a long game. Parenting is a long game. And you need to realize that and uh, parent accordingly. Um, So, uh, yes, we need to limit how much our kids play video games. Um, But uh, there's more to it, right? So what does all anyway, uh, we need to get to video games. What does all this have to do with video games? If you reframe your parenting around connection, here's what I want to say then your goal with video games is not merely to limit them. Like I said, you should do that. But your goal is also to understand them. Parenting well requires studying and understanding and loving your children. And that requires being curious about who they are and what they're into. Your rules around video games um, should not be disconnected from a relationship of trust. If your rules around video games are disconnected from a relationship of trust, your rules will not be respected. Studies have shown that parents that punish children by taking away screen time privileges are actually unintentionally encouraging their children to love video games more. It's like they make them into an idol, right? It's like if you you have a child who suffers with an eating disorder and then you punish them with food, you're just making food a greater idol in that child's life. You're making food a bigger problem. Um, You don't do that, right? So parents often want to tell me how they might win the video. You know, they want, I'm sorry, they want me to tell them how they can win the video game battle with their kids. And I think the first step to winning the video game battle with your kids is realizing parenting is not a battle. Start by approaching your children as image bearers rather than adversaries. This is key. Your children are not adversaries, they're image bearers. Many parents, however, choose to battle their children, right? I have friends who've smashed their children's gaming devices, like I said, posted their children's gaming-related temper tantrums on on social media and shame them. Don't shame your kids on social media, okay? And many more who have regularly engaged in shouting matches over gaming and screen time. Modern research on video games does indicate that unrestricted screen time is not good for children's development. However, don't parent only with the on-off switch. I want to challenge you, connect with your children on gaming, ask genuine questions, strive to understand what they play and why they find it engaging. Humble yourself enough to assume that there is some good in gaming. And even think about like getting in the game, entering their world and playing video games with your children. This beautiful thing happens when you do that. Like your children become the Jedi master and you're the Padawan, right? They're the one that teaches you. Usually in most roles, in most situations in life, you're the teacher, they're the student. But when you play video games with them, oftentimes they're the teacher, you're the student. 
And it provides this opportunity for connection that's really beautiful and good. But the adversarial relationship that often arises between parents and their children um, around video games is what drove me to write this book, Know Thy Game and Your Parents' Guide to Video Games. And the goal of the book is to help you understand video games so you can better understand and connect with your children. 